Oh, good job. President, please be seated. Oh. Veuillez vous asseoir, dit le Président. The court is now back in session, and again the chamber will hand the floor to Q Sampon's defense to continue putting questions to the witness. Counsel, you may proceed. Maître, à vous la parole. Counsel Consumon, thank you. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. And uh, Madame Witness, can you hear me? Madame witness, le yes, I can. Pouvez-vous m'entendre? Counsel, réponse. before the oui. break, uh, we discussed the issue of uh, marriages. Avant la pause, nous avons discuté des mariages. I'd like to uh, put a question to you again by referring to your uh, statement that is question answer 156 de votre procès verbal d'audition. And I quote question Did that require approval from the parents or from Anka? Question. Fallait-il pour cela l'approbation des parents de Anka? Réponse 156. There had to be approval Il from the parents, and it was reported to Anka at the district level. End of quote. So that is on the decision to, to marry those people. And, uh, voilà, Madame Witness, do you stand by the, your Madame statement témoin, as correct? Confirmez-vous et maintenez-vous ce que vous avez dit? Answer: Yes, it Réponse. is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Counsel, thank you. La défense. Merci. In question answer 113, question and allow me to 113. quote. Question. Were those false marriages, or those marriage arrangements designated by center level down to zone level, to sector level? then to district and commune level, or were they decided by the commune or district level? Answer 113, the center level did not decide them. The commune and district level did. End of quote. And to Madame, uh, uh, Madame Witness, do you stand by to that statement Madame that I just read out? Confirmez-vous votre yes, déclaration que je correct. viens de lire. Réponse. Oui, je confirme et je maintiens. C'est exact. Counsel, thank you. La défense. Je vous remercie. And again on the. Decision of marriage. A witness who testified a few days ago, that is on the 22nd April 2015, and I refer to transcript E1. Je vous renvoie à la transcription E1 At around 13 hours 57 minutes, and allow me to quote from the transcript. Question. And the decision to have group marriages was that a decision made by the district itself, or was that also an instruction from the upper echelon? Answer. The upper level officials gave their authorization, and it was up to us to organize those marriages, whether they were individual or collective. We consulted the communes and the district in order to celebrate such marriages, but we also had to consult the parents of those involved, and in particular, the couples themselves. 
eux-mêmes. End of quote. Fin de citation. And uh, Madame Witness, do you concur with the statement of Pichim? Madame le témoin, êtes-vous d'accord yes, avec la déclaration de Monsieur Pichim? Réponse, oui. Counsel, thank you. Now I move to another uh, topic, that is uh, Krang Tachan La défense. Je office. Vous remercie. Je passe à présent au bureau de Krang Tachan, un autre sujet. In your uh, written record of interview with the OCIG, verbal d'audition avec uh, le bureau. You spoke about the Kantachan office Vous that it was under the supervision of the district. Vous dites qu'il était placé sous la supervision du district. And at question and question 187, 187, you uh, mentioned what I just uh, stated. Vous dites ce que je viens de dire à l'instant. Est-ce que cette déclaration est exacte, Madame Witness? Answer, Madame yes, it is. Oui. Counsel, thank you. Défense, je vous remercie. Yesterday, at around Hier, 11 hours and 8 à minutes, 8 minutes environ, the uh, co-prosecutor showed a document which was a letter from Ta'an who was chief of Grand Tachan office to you and the letter dated the 1st August 77 and I refer to document E3 slash 2012 in that document, Dans ce document and request made a request to you to send the militiamen uh, for the arrest of two men. Formulé une requête vous demandant d'envoyer And that document was shown to you by the OCIJ investigator par les enquêteurs du bureau des juges d'instruction. And in your interview, Et you said that your commune received a, that kind of letter or document. Dans le procès verbal d'audition, que votre commune recevait ce type de document. That is the document that I just gave out the, the number. Le document dont je viens de donner la cote. That is E3 slash 2012. E3 bar 2012. Madame uh, Witness, can you locate that document? That is E3 slash 2012. Witness, Madame no, témoin. Témoin. I non. cannot locate it. Je n'arrive pas à le trouver. Madame, can you find it? Answer, Madame, no, we haven't located it yet. Réponse, non, nous n'avons pas encore pu le trouver, dit uh, Mr. Du President, I don't have the document with me, but I think the document is with the court officer. Pas le document. Il me semble que uh, President, yes, you can do that. Uh, just uh, locate the document and uh, show le it uh, to oui, her. Veuillez trouver le document. Où so that she can examine it. Counsel, thank you, Mr. President. L'avocat, merci, Monsieur le Président.
Witness, uh, may I ask my judicial counsel to read it to me? Counsel Kongsam On, I may give you a summary of that letter to you. In fact, it was a letter sent to you uh, from the end requesting you to send militiamen to arrest two men. Do you recall that event? And in fact, the co-prosecutor put some questions to you uh, regarding this letter. Witness, uh, I cannot recall it. Counsel. La Défense. Please uh, uh, examine the document and whether uh, you recall Please that you received uh, that document during the Democratic Kampuche period. That document dated 1st August Witness, I cannot recall it uh, clearly, Mr. President. From what I can see, that the letter originated from Krantachan office. Counsel, thank you. I uh, recall that uh, Due response to the uh, last question by Council Copper this afternoon, that you were sick all year round uh, during 1977. Can you please uh, tell the court whether you actually went to work uh, when you were sick in that year? Si vous êtes, uh, and uh, travailler pendant cette année, ou during that malade. year, I was sick, and it happened année, that I was also pregnant. Et le fait est que For that reason, malade. I did not go to work far, enceinte. and most Donc, of the time, I would stay at home, and sometimes La I stayed at, at my maison, work office. Et parfois au bureau de travail. So uh, allow me to stress that I rarely received any communication Donc, from uh, the uh, soldiers, although it was uh, addressed to me. I myself uh, did not deal with Même it si as a uh, development uh, men at the uh, commune who dealt with those matters. Council, thank you. Défense, also merci. regarding this letter, au sujet de cette lettre, did you receive this kind of letters, or whether you cannot uh, recall it? Vous en -vous? Answer, Réponse. I do not have anything to hide, Je rien à cacher. but I cannot recall whether I received uh, such a letter or not. Au demeurant, je n'arrive pas à me souvenir si oui ou non j'ai reçu une telle lettre. Counsel, thank you. La défense, je vous remercie. Regarding the uh, matter at the uh, sector level, au sujet des questions au niveau in your written record of uh, interview at question answer 59, you stated that uh, some but was at the uh, sector 13 committee uh, for a while 
And uh, comité du secteur later 13, on, Braun came to be sector 13 committee Braun until the end of the Khmer Rouge regime. Pour être le comité du secteur 13 et ce jusqu'à la fin du régime des Khmer Rouges. And that's what you uh, mentioned in your answer 59. C'est ce que vous dites dans la réponse numéro 59. And allow me to uh, provide you with a full quote. Answer 59. Yes. Then Sambet, who was in charge of the réponse army, came to Galbran oui. sector Ensuite, 13. Sambet I did not know which army Sambet came from. Sambet was sector 13 committee for a while, Sambet but not all the way Sambet until the end of the Khmer Rouge regime. Next, Ron Mail came to be sector 13 committee until the end of the Khmer Rouge regime. I do not read Member Ron's full name. Je ne me souviens pas End nom of a quote. De fin de citation. And my uh, question to you, uh, Madame Witness. Madame le témoin, ma question How did you know, est la suivante. Did you know whether Sambet or Ron saviez-vous que Sambet et Ron avaient un lien avec no, Tammok the, well. Réponse, je ne connaissais pas ces personnes suffisamment et non, je ne le savais pas. Counsel, thank you. Ma défense. Je vous remercie. And uh, do you know who was chief of sector 13 before Sambet? Savez-vous qui était chef du secteur 13 avant Sambet? Answer. Réponse. Uh, there were many uh, changes and I cannot uh, recall it. Il y a eu beaucoup de changements, je ne m'en souviens pas. I cannot recall who was uh, before uh, some but. Je ne sais pas qui était là avant some but. Counsel, I'd like to uh, ask you about the committee of sector 13 before some but arrived. Can you recall the name of that sector 13 committee? Du nom du comité du secteur 13. There were Sam and Mut. Il y avait Sam et Mut. Council, thank you. Défense, merci. This morning, in your response to the question put to you by Judge Lavagne, en réponse aux questions posées par le juge Lavergne, you said that Prac worked at the sector. Vous avez dit que Prac travaillait au niveau du secteur. And uh, can you tell us the position of Prac at sector 13 committee? Quelles étaient ses fonctions dans le comité du secteur 13? Answer. Réponse. Uh, my apology, I think I was uh, confused uh, before some but uh, there was uh, uh, a prat I did not know his real position but he was at the sector 13 uh, committee for a brief period of time questioned how brief was it you mean uh, in terms of months or year answer I cannot recall that uh, clearly whether he, uh, he was there réponse. only for months or a year, but uh, to my recollection, he was there for less than a year. Il était là pendant moins an. Question. Do you uh, recall as uh, when Sambet came to replace Question, savez-vous quand Sambot est Answer, venu remplacer no, I recall that. Réponse, non, je ne m'en souviens pas.
bah semakun. Council, thank you. Tiak tahun tenang. La défense, je vous remercie. In relation to document E3 slash two zero four eight. And that document was shown to you. And Madam Witness, uh, can you locate that document? Madame le témoin, avez-vous trouvé Witness, I am uh, looking through the uh, documents. Je suis en train de compulser les documents. Council, Madame Witness, uh, do you locate the document? Witness. Yes, I located the document, but it is difficult for me to uh, read it. Council, that is all right, and I'd like to refer to another document that is. Ce n'est pas un problème. Document B 157.64, and that document was referred to by Judge Lavange. Please look at that document, as I have questions to put to you in relation to these two documents. Yes, Rayro, can you understand me? Can you understand me? Sorry, Madam Witness, have you located that document? Defense, Madam, the witness, have you found this document? Answer: Yes. Response: Yes. I have. Counsel, the that document is a a short one. And please allow you to look at the bottom part of that document. The document is a report. And towards the bottom of the document, your name, Boon, was mentioned. And in the previous document, your name, Boon, was also mentioned. And my question to you is the following. Can you tell the chamber the word Boon in that appeared in the two documents? Is it your name or is it your signature? Et votre signature? Answer. It is uh, my name. It is not a signature. Mais pas ma signature. Counsel, thank you. So, if you have to sign, défense, you will have a, a separate uh, signature. Donc, si vous signez, Am I correct? Vous auriez une Answer. Yes, I would uh, sign. I would. Uh, have my signature and I would uh, Réponse, oui, write my name, ma but in this docu these documents document, only the names uh, appeared. Counsel, thank you. Apparaît. And uh, Madame Witness, do you recognize the handwriting Défense, on the merci. documents? Le témoin, Witness, no, I do not recognize it. Non, je ne reconnais pas Counsel, thank you. La défense. Je vous remercie. Can you confirm whether the handwriting is yours or it belongs to someone else? Answer: No, it is not my 
and uh, writing réponse. and uh, the, uh, my name here is written alone. This is not a full name. Thank you, Madam Witness and Mr. President. I do not have any further questions. La défense. Je vous remercie, Madame le témoin. Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions. President, thank you, Council. Je vous remercie, Maître. The uh, proceedings today uh, came to comes to an adjournment now, and uh, we will resume it on Thursday, the 7th May 2015, uh, from 9 o'clock in the morning. On that day, we will hear the testimony of a witness. Through TCW 822, this information is for the uh, parties and the uh, general public. And Madame Camburn, the chamber is grateful for your Madame video link testimony as a witness for the last two days. Your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case, and it is now the, the end of your testimony, and you may rest. And the chamber wish you good health. And to counsel Mamrati, the chamber would like to thank you as well, and you too may be excused. Security personnel, you are instructed to take the two accused, Kiu Sampon and Nun Chie, back to the detention facility and have them return to attend the proceedings on the morning of Thursday, 7 May 2015, before 9 o'clock. The chamber is now adjourned.